Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I am a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln. And I wanted to use this video to introduce one of the many orbital elements, which is the orbit inclination. So if we've got an example here, we've got on the left hand side, we're looking above or looking down onto an orbit, a circular orbit. This is a planet going around a star. And if we look on the right hand side, we've got an example looking edge on. So the orbital plane is now just a line because we're looking edge on at the orbit. If the inclination is zero, then it will look horizontal like that, given that our reference plane would be in the same plane. So there's no angle there. It's in the same plane as the reference plane. If it has some inclination angle like here. So it, let's say here that our reference plane is the blue line. And if the orbit is slightly inclined to that plane, that reference plane, then it will it'll be inclined by some angle, basically. Now, what's an example of that? Well, let's use Saturn. So we've got Saturn here, we've got the rings, we've also got its rotation, which is in one plane. So I've noted that with the blue line here. And then the moon Mimas is slightly inclined by just over one and a half degrees. Now, the diagram, the drawing here is obviously highly exaggerated it's not going to be quite as inclined as that but the are the idea here is to illustrate that it's inclined to like the rotation axis of saturn and also the rings as well so it'd be slightly inclined like that what it means is that as it orbits the planet it will go slightly below the rings and slightly above um, and that's what is referred to as the inclination so thank you for watching and if you've got any ideas for future videos then just let me know in the comments